So this video may not be super exciting. As you can tell right now, I'm currently canning in my kitchen. You can hear all the canners going crazy. Um, but this video is just basically going to be, people have asked like what I plan on packing for the hospital. So it's just like my starts of what I'm gonna pack for the hospital, as well as what we have for the baby currently. So I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, I guess this is what I am packing in my hospital bag. I need to get some um, other things out of the washer, but I'm just kind of figuring this out and then I'll do a load of laundry and I'll wash these couple of other things. So pretty much I have some pants that I would wear underneath a skirt here. And then I have two of those and then extra head coverings because I don't know, whenever I go someplace, I feel like I lose them. And then I have two nursing shirts that I got from the thrift store. Those are both long sleeves. A underclothing here. So I have underclothing here and then I have two nursing tank tops. And then I have just a t-shirt and two like pajama pants. I have not been to a hospital and packing things for a long time. So anyway, that is what I'm doing. I will need to bring um, other things. I will need to bring other things as well. I wear cloth pads, so I will be bringing those, but I am actually working on making those. I have not done that yet. Um, I do have some, but I want to make some bigger ones for after the baby. So I will work on that. I don't have as many as I would like because I'm normally used to having a home birth. And with a home birth, I can do laundry whenever I wanna do. And if I'm gonna be there, then I'm gonna to need to have like more available so that they can have laundry less often and that type of stuff. So I'm going to share with you as well what I have for the baby and why we have what we have. Hey guys, this is what we have. Um, somebody actually sent this to me. They said that these are really good for NICU babies. Um, it somehow like mimics like the umbilical cord. So that, I need to wash this stuff here. Um, so we have three just short sleeve onesies, a little preemie outfit, and then this little brother preemie outfit, so cute and then two little pair of booties. So that is what was gonna just get us started. I'm going to wash those. They said that we do not need any clothes for when he is in the NICU, but I felt like I wanted to get something, so that is going Which is going to bring up a subject of what have we actually got for the baby. So that's it. That's what we have gotten for the baby. And there's quite a few reasons why we've gotten what we have gotten or not gotten what we haven't gotten. Um, one is we have a lot of kids and we realized over the years, I'm heading downstairs now, um, we realized over the years that you don't need stuff. You don't. Um, mainly you need clothing for that baby and you need little blankets and lots of love and that's about it. So I have most of the stuff that I would already want for the baby. So there's no need to buy huge amounts of stuff for the baby. Um, that also said, I usually do have some sort of either bouncer or swing or something like that. And we are going to wait on that because we don't know if when the baby's born, if there's gonna need to be special care or special equipment for the baby, we'd rather like st save, them, save the money and um, get what he really needs rather than just grabbing something. So we are doing that. Um, I'm trying to think. It is so easy to get just a little bit of, I do have a, a tote put away of little boy clothes from like zero months to 12 months. So we'll be fine with like what I already have, I'm thinking. Um, I'm crocheting a little blanket. I think I'm probably going to get a couple. I have to see what I have for like the muslin type blankets. I'm going to ask my daughter if she can bring like the tote down and then I'll see what I need for that type of stuff. So yeah, i um, going to make a little, I'm waiting for, I think the yarn's coming in on Saturday. We're going to work together as like the kids and myself. We are going to work on, they wanted to make something for the baby. So we're going to use the rings that I just bought to make a baby like sack with a matching hat. 
We're gonna do a little pumpkin. So we're gonna work on doing that together as a family, but really babies don't need stuff. Babies need love and attention and, you know, we're okay with not getting lots of stuff. And then if we need to later pick up stuff, we're okay with that. But we wanna make sure that like whatever we are getting for him is what he actually needs rather than um, just purchasing stuff because we're having a baby. So we would rather wait to see if there's specific things that he will need as far as like if he's home and he has like equipment and stuff with him, um, what position he'll need to be sleeping in, all those things. So we're just taking it day by day. Um, we really need to know like him personally and what's best for him. So that's why that's what we got. I know, not exciting. Everyone's like, what'd you get for the baby? How's the nursery? Um, we don't do nurseries. We think that babies belong with mama and daddy and families and kids belong together. Um, even our, like, I personally, I don't think that like a child should just have a room like by themselves. I think that it's good to learn to, in most of our life, we're going to be sharing a bedroom with somebody, whether that's, um, when you're younger, sharing it with a sibling, when you're older, when you're married, um, you need to learn to share spaces. So it's a good thing. It's a good skill to learn. Um, but really ultimately, like we want our children just to like feel loved and yeah, so we don't have a lot of stuff. And so this baby doesn't have a lot of stuff either. Um, anything that we would need for the baby, we would have immediately. We have blankets. We have, you know, all that stuff. I don't want to buy, like, bottles because I don't know, like, how the baby is going to be able to eat, if he's going to be nursing, if he's going to need a tube, if he needs a specific bottle. So it's silly to, like, spend money on things of the what-ifs. I might as well just wait and see and get exactly what he needs exactly when he needs it. So that is it. It's just been asked a bunch of times, so I figured I would just share with you what I'm doing. So as far as the bag goes, I will put those few things in a bag along with a couple skirts, and I am going to be working on pads. And that's about it. And that's what we'll do. Oh, the baby blanket that I'm making will probably come with us. Um, yeah. So I, I hope that you guys like the little tidbits of whatever I think for us, like ourselves, I wanted something that I would be able to do with the younger kids because they all want to do something for him um, that we're going to work together on making this project coming up and that will be really special. So I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day.